So we're here on Big Munson Island in the Florida Keys. Great example of some of the changing dynamics of this part of the world. We still have vegetation here. There's a big sea grape here, right, uh, right here. Um, and we're just leaving the front yard campground. This whole island is owned by the Boy Scouts of America. Um, this is part of Florida Sea Base, a cool uh, high adventure camp and series of installations and activities. So scouts can come out here for four to seven days and do um, exploration and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, great example of our changing coastal zone here. Um, so we are about five miles uh, east of Summerlin Key, which itself is about 25 miles north or you know, northwest of um, Key West. So we're almost at the end of the Florida Keys, the chain of these little islets that extend southward and southwestward from Miami. So this area used to be quite lush. This was a solid forest. Um, you know, oh, mangroves in particular, but all kinds of other uh, vegetation. So much, uh, so, so many robust trees that historically the Boy Scouts had a Tarzan activity where scouts would uh, navigate off the ground arborally um, through the, the trees and the, the vegetation in sort of a jungle gym type context this place is increasingly degraded. When, when scouts from yesteryear came out here, this whole reef, staghorn, elkhorn, corals, a lot of fantastic coral cover. Now it's mostly uh, dead coral offshore. If we talk about what's going on here, the mangroves are, are super hammered. Most recently, we're recording this in 2019, but most recently in 2017, Hurricane Irma came through and uh, walloped the island and just really nuked the vegetation. So. Again, it's, it's about two years, almost two years since, and there's still massive devegetation. There are two key deer still living on the island, but uh, they're both males. Probably not gonna be a whole lot more after those guys die. Um, and then, of course, what you see right here in the, in the coastal zone, in the strand, in the rack line, is massive. There, there's some seagrass washed up, and there's also seagrass beds off, offshore. But um, huge masses of sargassum. So this uh, naturally occurring brown alga is the thing that, that gives the name to the Sargasso Sea. And uh, again, a natural thing out here. However, the levels that we're seeing, something is amiss with our ocean waters and the levels that we're seeing out here um, are uh, unusual in the last seven, several years. 2015 was the last year, which was just massive, massive. All kinds of complaints. When we landed in the uh, when we landed in Miami and I was looking at newspapers, there was a lot of a story. I read some stories about complaints in Miami Beach. This stuff washes ashore. And as we were about, you know, three miles off the island, we started smelling some real bad sulfurous anoxic smells. And, uh, you know, we're like, what is that? What is that? And so typically something we would associate with some kind of uh, wetland or estuarine area where people have been digging up the, as you hear, you can see some key deer, key deer scat right there. Um, anyway, so, so residents in, in high-end homes are complaining that all this sargassum, and you can see we waded through it um, when we entered the island. Some of it's up to about a meter thick, and, uh, and it just smells like rotten eggs. So you can imagine if you paid a gazillion million dollars for some kind of beachfront home, uh, people don't like that. And um, it's a challenge, it just continues to wash up. So if you are somehow able to scrape it up, like let's say right now that they have activities where scouts go out and pick up some of the stuff, um, which is great. However, um, what do you do with it when you pick it up? And then, you know, a few days, a week or two later when a whole bunch more washes up, what do you do with that? So here's an example of some of the, the type of robustness of some of, these, some of these trees that used to exist here and some of the activities, you can get a sense of some of the activities that, that used to be able to be uh, taking place here. So we have radically transformed terrestrial ecology, radically transformed intertidal zone with these massive, huge carbon inputs from primarily sargassum, floating sargassum that drifts in. Um, and then offshore uh, 